Hello everyone and welcome back to the Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as pressing that subscribe button, tapping the bell and making sure to select all. And before all of you even begin watching the video, if I can just get you all to hit that like button or dislike, you know, whichever, but I prefer like, of course, and if you feel like leaving a comment, I would love to hear from you. And this, everyone, will really, really help get the little blue fly out there on the decorating platform. I think we've done really good here in the year and a half that I've been on here. Well, a little over a year and a half. But anyways, I would love to see this channel just keep growing and all of that is made possible by all of you, by all of my viewers and all of my subscribers. And if you just randomly come through with the, you know, just to view, that's great. But I would love for you to subscribe and be part of the Little Blue Fly family. That being said, let's begin, shall we? So I'd like to start things off by explaining um, the back wall behind the headboard. Um, when we first moved in, I do have a video where I gave an empty, um, empty house tour, the move-in, and this wall was blue. Well, blue's okay for those that work with blue, but I just, I do not, not, not that much, but anyhow. I've always been in love with the copper color and I just really thought it would be nice if I made this wall look like a copper penny. It's actually a two-step process. First you go down with um, a semi-gloss paint. It was called Mississippi Mud and all this was purchased through Lowe's. And then you go over it with this metallic copper paint. And it just really, as you can see, pulls all the coloring out of the headboard. Now this bed I actually painted and distressed myself. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, go on over to that video um, and watch how I painted and distressed this poster bed that I picked up for super, super cheap off of Facebook Marketplace. This Afghan, I'm just gonna keep it here for right now. Um, it was actually purchased from a garage sale many years ago. This is an item that came from California. Um, and I purchased this Afghan for just $15. And anything that is, you know, crocheted, that's just something that's near and dear to my heart because of, of mama. You know, she was always crocheting blankets for all of us children and slippers to keep our feet warm during um, the cold winter months. But anyhow, she couldn't even have made that for what she was asking for at $15. That was a huge still. And then the nightstand, I'm just going to use these nightstands just temporarily until I want to find... Um, old pieces, uh, old nightstands, but these came from Lowe's and they'll do nicely for right now. I want you to pay close attention to the height of this bed. It's very, very tall and we're about to change it. 
We added in a wardrobe from Ikea because we had to use our walk-in closet as my husband's office. And this works perfectly. Yeah. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, it just comes out so far. It does. But you know, we have plenty of room to walk through there. And it's all about making things function here at the cottage. Now I'm just showing you another view on how tall this mattress is and the box spring. So Bev had to go shopping because I have to make sure at least that center portion of the headboard um, is displayed when I have all of my decorative pillows on the bed. That's the other nightstand that's going over on my side, but it has to stay out of the way for right now because we have certain things we are going to be placing up on the wall today. And I'm still uncertain about my curtains a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer, but they'll be, they'll be coming soon. I'm just going to give you an, you know, an overall view of the other side of the room. I have a, my previous video. I did share these furniture pieces already, but if you're new, I'm just letting you see what's on the other side of the bedroom. You can always go back and watch the other videos. But these are my furniture pieces that all recently came um, over from California. So we're going to go ahead and now get started on this wall. I wanted to start things off with this very large um it is a metal embossed shelf and it it's quite um substantial in size for sure um, but has gorgeous embossing on it the perfect colors and there was a shop in california that i purchased this piece from quite a few years ago. I just wanted it up above the headboard because what I am trying to achieve in my master bedroom is a French country old world look and feel. Now again, this is just part one. Okay, we're gonna have a, a part two and much more embellishments are gonna be coming into play. And this is our little fella friend right here. He's my um, sweet little frog that turns my light off and on. And I wanted to show you the other nightstand and pay attention to how the bed is now higher than the nightstands. That's about to change. Now next, I added in a couple flanks and these were purchased in California. I like the, um, the very aged uh, vintage, you know, almost like watercolor look to these flanks. Every color that is in this flank, I absolutely love working with. I wanna give you a view from this side of the embossed shelf. I 
and just having that color on the wall just really is enhancing everything. We're going to move onto this wall. I'm just going to add one item for now. And then we'll just gradually move ourselves around. I wanted to place up two lamps. These actually, they are in my Amazon um, storefront. So there will be a link in my description box. And my some of you ask where my description box is. The description box is where um, it states what the video is about. And on the right hand side, you'll see a little down arrow. Press that and then it'll drop down. And if you go scroll down, you'll see a link to my Amazon storefront. I added in a wire shelf over here by the armoire. And as you can see, it's not centered. And there's a reason for that because when the curtains go up, then it will look perfectly proportioned. Right now it does not because the curtains are not there yet. Like I said, steps. This is step one. We're gonna have a second video. And then up at top, I added in um, a basket, a very large basket. Because when you're working with French country or even old world, you wanna bring in those wicker baskets. And as you can see over there to the side, it really is nighttime now, but I had no choice, everyone. I had to make this video happen. I had mountains of boxes in my bedroom. It was almost like a storage facility, so I just got rid of them all, pushed them all out. Now they're in my kitchen. I'm just, <laughs> I'm a mess. Anyways, here's a, um, a lamp that was purchased uh, from North Carolina, from Facebook Marketplace when I was in North Carolina. And on the inside, I wanted to place in a heart sachet. It has a beautiful scent of lavender. And this actually came from Robin King Designs. I have mentioned her a few times. Everyone go over there, let her know the little blue fly sent you. She has a nice discount code for you all to use. Again, Robin King Designs. You will not be disappointed. going to move you down the wall a little bit further and there you see my um, it's a very heavy plaster chalkboard I've been using that for some time and then I have a very tall mirror on top of my buffet and that mirror was actually a let go find Facebook marketplace wasn't even here yet it was let go and I picked this piece up for $50. This is another mirror that I wanted for a few years, but I never purchased it because the mirror would come on sale for a decent price, but because it's so large, it was the freight. They wanted so much money for the freight. So I never purchased it. And then I seen, um, Another party just got tired of it and they rid of it for just $50. So here it is with the panels open. And this is such a fun, fun piece to work with. We have so much decorating coming up, so much. I placed in my uh, tall lamp that it another piece that came from California I did share this in a previous haul 
of many of my decor pieces. Love the warm glow, the beading, the just the the fringe. Fringe is so um gives such a sassy feel, right? Just love these little lampshades. This is very um very French country slash Tuscan for sure. Love working in a little bit of Tuscan here and there. Yes, it's definitely dark out there. So it's, you're seeing it's quite dark in here right now, but I wanted to share the glow with you all what I will be experiencing during the evenings. There's so many different shades of um, amber taking place here in the room with all of the lighting. And up at top, I'd like to get some lighting up at top of the wardrobe as well. And there will be many items going up on the top porch above the shelf to really lighten things up and make it all come together. And behind there, that's, that's the bathroom and that's another video. <laughs> we don't want to look in there right now. <laughs> Look, it's so dark. We can't even see the armoire right now. Okay, here we go. This is the new box spring I purchased. I will link this in my Amazon storefront for those of you that need um, a much shorter box spring so your bed can get, you know, you can lower it. This actually holds, um, here's the box to it. Oh gosh, I can't remember. It, we'll be sharing a link. Um, yeah, I cannot remember the price of this box spring. But it was very easy to assemble. And it just, it works. And because now that it's lower, my bed skirt just is at the perfect height. It would have been way too high up off the floor if I had the other box spring. And this bed skirt was purchased from Soft Surroundings. It's It's been discontinued though. And on top is a feather bed. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you a little bit how I work with fabulous feather beds. Bev has been sleeping on feather beds for the majority of her life. This is something Mama has um, taught me about feather beds, um, how to use them, how to clean them. And now I would like to take the time and share it with you. So what you do is you go to the corners of your feather bed. At least you can if you have this type that wear you see all the large squares. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. You go to each of the corners and you just shake it for just, I would say, I don't know, five seconds, no more than 10 seconds. And it's not hard to do at all. You just grab it with one hand and you just shake it. And as you can see, it makes all your feathers fluff back up. It is that simple. And here are the squares. You are looking for this because each feather has their own compartment. If you do not have that stitching, it's going to cause your feathers to gather and to lump and to wave. No good. You want them to have their own compartments. And every morning you just take off your bed sheet and you just do that fluffing. Now, this was purchased from Wayfair. I, I will have some in my Amazon storefront. They will be similar to this one, 
But if you want this exact one, I'm not even sure if they still carry it, but you would want to look on Wayfair. You're looking for that thick, lush pile. Okay, here's the top sheet. I And this is all personal preference here. I like having a top sheet, and this is an extra deep fitted sheet. Not just a deep, but an extra deep. And as you can see, it's quite loose, so it's not going to pull down on the feather bed. It's not going to take away from it at all. But I like having my feather beds under the sheet because, yes, you can get covers for them. You can keep them on top of your sheet, but they like to move around. Now, they have some that have straps on them and whatnot. I just, I just prefer, plain and simple, to have mine underneath the sheet and you get the same exact effect if you use the extra deep pocket sheets. These will be linked in my Amazon storefront. I believe there's only a few left. Um, they are made by Ralph Lauren and they're very light, um, a very cool, uh, light to the touch and feel sheet. I'm also going to share with you when I fold down my sheet, see this is the wrong side. <laughs> I can hear my mom, bevy, but <laughs> anyways, um, so we're going to fix that. So when you put your sheet on, if you want the, if you are one that likes to fold back the top sheet like I do, you're going to have to put your sheet on upside down because then when you fold it back, you will see the correct side up at top. Wrong side. Right side. <laughs> Many years of training, guys, by mama. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so I have two different types of feather beds here. The one to the left, you can see I've had that for a little bit. It is a different color than the one to the right where it was just taken out of the package. This one, very light and airy and you get the full feel of the down of the feathers. And this one is um, quite, you get quite more in, in, in this feather bed. I use this one during the cold winter months. We're not quite there, so I'm going to stay to the thinner feather bed. So yes, feather beds, the ones that go on, now these go on top in the duvets. It's not one that you lie on. And when it's warmer, I will use the thinner ones. And some people might go, oh my gosh, no, it's just too hot. Well, um, no, Bev always has her house set on Arctic freeze okay during the summertime let's get that right arctic freeze <laughs> here's the du duvet i will be using and this was purchased from um, pom pom at home it has a nice strip of, of velvet ribbon and then it, it's all natural i mean it's all 100 percent linen um, for me, I'm a linen girl. I am a feather bed linen girl, always have been. Love the look and the feel of linen. Pom pom at home. And they still do, um, I'm almost positive, they still carry this duvet and it can be found at, oh gosh, I'm going to have to look at that. I think it's called the Bella House. And you can purchase this duvet in Euro Shams. Here I have it up on top. And my sheet, I just, it's just a simple fold back and then I tuck it. 
and I just make sure it's on the right side. <laughs> That's important. And sometimes I like to pull back my top duvet. It just, it just all depends. I just like a little bit of a variety and change from time to time. But the feather bed is inside there and when you make it in the morning you just give it a couple shakes and that's it. It's ready. Now we're going to work with the pillow covers, the Euro shams. You start with a Euro pillow and these I believe, yes, they are 28 by 28. I want to make sure I get a good feel inside of my shams. I do not want my Euro pillow, pillow to be smaller than my sham and the sham look all saggy. And that's just, I, I just, it's a, again, it's a personal thing. It's just something I do not like. This Euro has beautiful embroidery up front. And then the remainder of it is not linen, it is an actual cotton. But as you can see, it's just has a nice sheer to it and a very delicate embroidery. It, it envelopes over the top of the Euro. Perfect touch of embroidery. And here are my pillowcases that have embroidery on them as well. Now when I make a bed with pillowcases, I make sure that the pillowcases are king and my pillows are king on a queen bed. And just look at that beauty, it's just all sheer. And I have another pillowcase that is actually going to go over the pillow and then it will go inside the embroidery pillowcase because it's so sheer you would be able to see the white pillow and and Bev can't have that <laughs> it has to flow so it's going to be a pillowcase inside of a pillowcase and all this bedding I'm sharing with you um, the none of the pillows get used at night none of them now sometimes they do during the day if I just you know, feel like being like my friend Darlene in California. When I was going to school, she would all, I would open the door and I've shared this before. She just would bolt through my front door and just go and take a big bomb dive on my bed. <laughs> what a mess. Now, I just want to, I did not go this direction. I just want to share with you that you can place your pillows back behind your um, Euro pillows for this style. But I decided I was going to go a different direction because right now I'm using three Euro pillows. But you can really see the headboard when you work it this way which I'll probably do sometime, just not today. <laughs> We're gonna see something a little different. And here is another sham. This actually matches the duvet cover. And I'm keeping everything natural right now because we're going into fall and then Christmas. Now I do have these other, I'm gonna try to reach back here and grab them here we go these shams were purchased from pottery barn it is their um, vintage inspired line um, they have discontinued them I I do apologize I've been working on getting this bedding for some time because it is costly to do but I will be using those during spring and summer next year so this is how I will display, will be displaying it throughout fall and Christmas. The three euros are in the back 
The two king-size pillowcases are up front. Right now we have everything very, um, very neutral tones. I'm going to change that a little bit right now, though. I cannot tell you how in love I am with this bedding. How the embroidery just, uh, just cascades down off the sides of the bed. It's just, uh, I'm just everyone, I'm in love with this bedding. And yes, sometimes if I feel like it, I will take that bomb dive on my bed during the daytime and take a little nap. Sometimes I just don't care. <laughs> At the bottom, um, this is a coverlet. It is a waffle coverlet. And I will be sharing in my Amazon storefront um, a waffle uh, coverlet that can be used um, on top of your bed. Now these actually normally go under the duvet cover, but because we are still in a little bit of heat, I'm not putting it there. I'm keeping it on the outside. And here we have our little bit of color. I have the same pattern uh, pottery barn pattern uh, in a duvet cover with a couple shams to match it and I'm just simply just placed it over the edge of the bed because it just really draws in the two floral flanks up on the wall we're in odds and as you can see it's even like in a triangular shape I added just a sweet little touch of a crochet blanket on top. And I just couldn't be more pleased with the outcome of this bed so far. And I have one more special touch that you all will be seeing in the closer look. Thank you. 